A cat breed that gets hitched? The Chinese liwa is so revered in China that they actually hold weddings for these cats and say their vows in mews. And the Chinese liwa is so rare that there are only four of them in the United States. It just recently has been developed and bred as a breed. The first showing of a liwa in Beijing was not until 2003. And in fact, these cats only came to the United States in the fall of 2010. But the Chinese liwa, or liwa mao, is an ancient treasure, which dates back to the Shang Dynasty around 1300 BC. That makes it one of the oldest cat breeds native to China. It's um, a cat that is respected and is a point of pride for their country. The Li Hua is directly descended from the wild Chinese mountain cat. Which means it had very little, if any, human intervention in regards to its development. So you have quite a fit cat that naturally evolved over the years in China. One of the defining features of the Chinese Li Hua is its brown mackerel tabby coat. It actually reminds you of like a wild looking cat. Another unique feature of the Li Hua is the wide diamond shaped head. It gives the impression that they don't have much of a neck. They kind of look like football players. The eyes on this cat are beautiful. Their large hooded almond shaped eyes come in yellow, brown, or green. It's just a terrific looking cat. I give it 10 out of 10. Like Sam, the Chinese Li Hua is an intelligent, affectionate, and easygoing cat. Very good with other cats, loves kids, fine with dogs. Li Hua's have a short double layered coat, so grooming is a cinch. Even though the Chinese Li Hua doesn't require much grooming, because the coat is so thick, you're gonna wanna brush it out once a week to keep shedding under control and make sure that your cat doesn't get hairballs. Li Hua's are naturally robust with no known breed specific diseases. So in general, the Chinese Li Hua is a healthy breed. Their coat requires weekly brushing and they get along with children and other cats. Keeping our fingers crossed that this breed's gonna take off and they're gonna continue to develop it so that we'll be able to have that breed out here in the United States.